A sunny afternoon from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Hello, and wherever you might be getting our voices and signals from, this is the Brikama Derby between Greater Tomorrow and Bombada. It's a class between six position and nine position. Greater Tomorrow currently on six with 28 points, going against Bombada, who are currently sitting on nine position with 24 points. Just as I said, it's a Brikama Derby between Greater Tomorrow and Bombada. Wherever you might be getting our signals from, this is LSTV One live from the Box Bar Mini Stadium. And the two sides are currently posed for their respective team photos and the team of officials are also having their final checkings as far as the pre-match activities are concerned so until then we're going to have a quick rundown on the starting 11 for both sides but before the starting 11 for both greater tomorrow and bombarda it will surely try to gauge you some reactions but first it's a class between greater tomorrow and bombarda and in the last meeting of these two sides it was a 2-1 victory for the bombarda side and bombarda's goals were scored by osman kabiro sano and lamin tamba whilst greater tomorrow's goal was was scored by Paul Coley and it was a 2-1 victory for Bombarda and here we are about to get you the live ball-to-ball -ball commentary in this contest between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda from the Brickham Box Bar Mini Stadium at the commentary desk for LSTV Parliament Fadi K. Mokanyi we are also joined by Niman Sata Cham and behind the camera is our very own Osman Kamara and the central referee and his team of officials are also done waiting for the green light to be given for them to start this showdown from the Brickham Box Bar Mini Stadium and this game is going to be officiated by Mon Lamin Job, Omar Dabo, Dauda Baji and the fourth assistant referee Omar Salah and the match commissioner is Maimuna Kante and Kemo another big game and this time it is the Brikama Derby between Greater Tomorrow and Bombada. Yes, uh, very well, Pa. It is going to be a very, very big game, as uh, many have expected uh, who are living in, within Brikama here, that uh, the game is going to be a tough test for both sides. And indeed, um, in the fourth game that was shared between the two sides, as you have earlier mentioned, that was the uh, only game these two sides have met in a competitive uh, game uh, in the JFF Male Division 1, where Bombarda was uh, able to win the uh, Greater Tomorrow side by, two, side by two goals to one. And here again, uh, this is the second meeting between them now uh, will Bombarda continue uh, their win their dominance over them or are we going to see that of the greater tomorrow side also coming up to make sure they strengthen their feet uh, in this particular game against the uh, Bombarda side but I mean the games that was that uh, both sides have taken part in the last five you can see uh, that of the Bombarda have won back to back they have they have won against Wab Banyol United by four goals to two here at the Superkama Box Bar Mini Stadium and against Fortune as well they won by two goals to one then before then they drew with armed forces here on one one score line and also against uh, the, <coughs> the Wab Banyol side where they lost by two goals to nil and against uh, Brikama United it was a nil nil score line between uh, Bombarda and uh, Brikama United now in the last five that our uh, great tomorrow have played in uh, they have lost in the last five that uh, great tomorrow have played in they have lost two of the last past games that they have played they have lost to they lost to falcons falcons by a lone goal to nil on this ground and also on this uh, very ground they lost to walidan as well by a lone goal to nil before then they drew uh, nil nil with samga and then team they also lost to team rano and also won against uh, steve because so you see in the last five Bomba, uh, sorry greater tomorrow rather, have only won one of their last five games that they have competed in lost three and also drawn uh, one while bomb while Bombardas have won two, uh, drawn two and lost only one of those games. So in the recent form of the two, you will see that Bombarda is in is on is on good form than that of the is on better form than that of the uh, Greater Tomorrow side. But nonetheless, this is a different game that uh, both teams will be playing in. So are we going to see that of the Bombarda side or uh, Greater Tomorrow winning this uh, Brikama Derby? Of course, it is going to be a very very uh, big game. As you can see, uh, fans have uh, torn up in their large numbers to come and witness this particular showdown. But it's <coughs> Thank you very much, Kim Okanye. 
and back to the live ball to ball commentary before ge going deep into the commentary we will have a quick rundown on the starting 11 for greater tomorrow who starts with ibrahim abalde 22 in goal cd kinte number five ibrahim abadjo number two serif serif demba number three omar jaju number four felix mendy 12 ali umane 14 modu sedi number 10 bully drama 21 paul coley number nine ibrahim anjai number seven completes the 11 for greater tomorrow bombada starts with yusuf asanyang 22 in goal sali fusane 24 abdullahi kamara number three Musa Bala Sawane number 23 Usenu Abdul Dabo 20 Idrissa Jajus number 6 and team captain Seni Sambu 14 Dudu Ture 27 Mulamin Jata 21 Swaibu Kebe 19 and Ibrahim Sanyang 28 completes the 11 for Bombada and the game is currently underway as Bombada plays from our right to left whilst Greater Tomorrow plays from our left to right this is Bombada now trying to get something here and a left footer drive from Swaibu Kebe sailed over the bar and it seems to be a bright start for the boys in blue Bombarda as they were able to craft two goal scoring opportunities since the commencement of this game but it wouldn't be an easy task as coach Serif Mankajang goes against Mustafa Sedi. Mankajang is the head coach for Greater Tomorrow whilst Mustafa Sedi is the one on the technical bench for Bombarda. Here at the Brikama Box Bamini Stadium. It's the Brikama derby between Bombarda and Greater Tomorrow. This is Greater Tomorrow now in their own half trying to get the ball forward Great control from the centre forward and number nine who could not hold on to the ball. Paul Coley, mal controlled and it's a, it's, it's a throw in for Bombada. Takes that quickly. Swaibu Kebe gets the ball down to the advancing team captain who tries to connect the advancing player. But the ball is too strong and it's going to be a throw in for the boys in white and black. Greater tomorrow. Gets that quickly. Modu now trying to control the ball. He's been dispossessed. Swaibu Kebe tries to get the ball forward. He's, he's been blocked. And that's a throw in for the boys in blue Bombarda who plays from our right to left from our commentary desk Bombarda now will try to get the ball forward this time it is Omar Jaju on a defensive mission number four on his back got that ball off the pitch and a goal kick to greater tomorrow in the very first minutes of this contest from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium and in case you're just joining us this live commentary is live from the Box Bar Mini Stadium and it is live on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube it's a live game between greater tomorrow and Bombarda in the Brikama derby this is Paul Coley who will surely try to use his pace great control from the number nine and the flag has been raised on the far side and it's going to be a throw in for Bombarda deep in their own half. Ibrahima Sanyang will take this for Bombarda who is playing as the right wing back for the Brikama base club Bombarda. This time it is a great control from Bombarda. A collision between the two players that was a miscommunication. Modu Sedi gets the ball into the 18, headed out there by Bombarda. Danger not averted. This time it is Mane. He's been dispossessed. Seni Sambu has been fouled. He's the most experienced player on this pitch. Currently playing for Bombarda. Hard spells with Brikama United. Also played in the senior category. Represented the Gambia in the under 17 and also in the under 20. Seni Sambu currently playing for Bombarda. This time it is greater tomorrow. Back to their goalkeeper who gets the ball low to Kinte City. The ball passes marker. Lunges in a long one. Trying to connect the number seven who heads the ball down. Great control. Modu Sedi on the far side of greater tomorrow's attack. They will try to use their pace now. They've been dispossessed once again. Back to the goalkeeper for Bombarda Yusuf Asanyang. Sanyang Yusufa gets the ball on the right side. This time it's Ibrahim Sanyang who gets the ball forward. They're going to use. That's the PC number 21 for Bombarda. Modlamin Jata. And he's been fouled in the process. And it's going to be an infringement for Bombarda in their opposition half. And Ibrahim Sanyang seems to be the likely candidate to take this effort. Sanyang operates as the right wing back for Bombarda. Bombarda on the GFF Mills table standing are currently on nine position with 24 points, whilst Greater Tomorrow are on sixth with 28 points. Ball being floated. A header from the team captain and number six for Bombarda, Idrissa Jaju. But Jaju's effort went off target and a goal kick to greater tomorrow not a very good one cd slides in this time mode lime and jata great control looking for options spreads the ball around the 18 yard area danger not avoided swaibu kebe great control swaibu chips the ball into the 18 seni sambu that was was in the grade one from seni sambu 
known to many as Duta for Bombarda and his right for the delivery went off target and a goal kick this time Omar Jaju launches in a long one trying to connect the center forward Paul Kole who could not hold on to the ball this time a defensive mission from Bombarda they would surely use the left side of the attack to penetrate here Sawane tries to dribble past his marker he's been dispossessed Ali Umani great turn back to the right wing back for greater tomorrow and this time to the central defender greater tomorrow enjoying possession in their own half this time it is the number three who will surely try to get the ball forward and solid defensive work in there by the number three and central defender abdullah kamara for bombarda and greater tomorrow will benefit from a throw in on the left side of their attack gets that quickly to the advancing city city for demba great control demba who will surely look for options gets the ball quickly to the number seven Ibrahima Njai and Ibrahima Njai is part of the under 20. This is Greater Tomorrow now trying to get something here. Ball being blocked to torch and a throw in to Greater Tomorrow who are dressed in white shirts, black shorts, and white socks. That's an infringement awarded to Bombarda by the central referee Mood Lamin Job and Job Mon Lamin as the central referee has been assisted by Omar Dabo, Dauda Baji and Omar Sala as the fourth assistant referee and the match commissioner is Maimuna Kante. This is Sawane. Sawane, long and high one, into greater tomorrow's half. Ball being chested down by Sidi Kinte. It's time to the number three who turns beautifully. Sidi for Demba. It is the number 21, Bully Drami, who tries to get himself. No foul as waved by the central referee. There we go. This is Seni Sambuduta, who gets the ball for Bombarda. Spreads the ball to Maud Lamin Jata on the right side of Bombarda's attack. Can they get something here? Left foot drive. No troubles for the goalkeeper. And it's going to be a goal kick. Greater tomorrow, we are protesting for a penalty when Bully Drame went to ground. But well, that seems to be a collision between Drame, Bully, and the central defender for Bombarda. Both players are currently receiving medical attention from the team of Medex here. It is the number 28, 20, Hussein Abdul Dabo. Hussein Abdul Dabo for Bombarda is currently receiving medical attention and also Bully Drame also receiving medical attention into the very first minutes here from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium and this is the Brikama Derby between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda in the GFF Men's Division 1. It's a clash between coach Sheriff Mankajang and coach Mustafa Sedi. Six position up against nine position. We have already played 10 minutes into this contest and the score remains barren. Greater Tomorrow are yet to break the deadlock. Equally Bombarda in the last meeting between these two sides it was a 2-1 victory for Bombarda and Bombarda got a 2-1 victory and their goals were scored by Usman Kabiro Sano and Lyman Tamba whilst the only goal scored by Greater Tomorrow was scored by Paul Colley. Kemo after 10 minutes of play as far as this contest is concerned it is currently Greater Tomorrow nil Bombarda nil and this is the Brikama Derby and you can see a good number of presents here as far as supporters are concerned piling in here to watch this crunch contest between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda. Yes, uh, for none of the side is able to uh, break the deadlock as of now, but uh, the greater part of the chances that were created here uh, in the first 10 minutes here goes to that of the Bombarda side. Of course, it is the more experienced side when it comes to uh, first division football because they were there before if they were relegated into the first, second division and then uh, book their way again back to uh, the first division football. So, uh, so I believe that experience there will help them a lot in terms of uh, uh, creating those goal scoring opportunities. But a uh, greater more as well we have we have also seen recently coming up uh, into uh, the game and then uh, playing some uh, very very positive attacking football in the part of this uh, uh, bombarda side but uh, nonetheless both sides will be very very mindful because uh, they wouldn't want to lose this particular game especially that of the greater tomorrow side who have been who have lost uh, two uh, consecutive uh, games uh, coming into this particular one so they will be hoping to make sure they correct their mistakes in the past two games that they have lost in while that of the bombarda side will also be hoping to to uh, make sure they win this one 
and uh, to better their standings into the table because Greater Tomorrow is uh, uh, Bombarda is currently on 12 points and sorry 24 points rather and uh, Greater Tomorrow is currently sitting on uh, 28 points so there are four four points uh, is uh, what is separating these two sides so for that of Bombarda side they will be hoping to win this and then close the gaps to uh, that of the uh, Greater Tomorrow side by only a lone point while uh, this Greater Tomorrow side will also want to make sure they win this particular game to at least uh, better their performance because in the last five games uh, that they have played in, they are a only able to win one of those games and lost three out of the last five and only drawn one. So uh, that is a very, very uh, bad result for them. They will be hoping to make sure they correct their errors uh, that they have that they have been making in those past uh, five uh, games that they are playing, especially in the past two that they contested and lost both. So for that of Bombarda side, they will also be hoping hoping to make sure they continue their winning strength because in the last two that they have played in they have won uh, both both of those games with a very good uh, goal margin two not and also the last, the last game that they have played here was a four goals to two score line and then in that particular game as well they came from behind to win that particular game by four goals to two so they will be hoping to make sure they continue their uh, strength in uh, winning do in winning games after games especially when they are playing at home here but now they are playing against a team uh, who they say are the same ground with so greater tomorrow also this is the home ground for them so as that of bombarda so this is why fans for bombarda and that of the greater tomorrow side so you will see uh, we are seeing them uh, coming in their large numbers as you have earlier mentioned coming to uh, witness this particular encounter because it's a very very i mean interesting game that uh, one will be hoping for especially with those that are living within brikama here but thank you very much kemo kanye in the last meeting it was a 2-1 victory for Bombarda, will they be able to maintain their supremacy over Greater Tomorrow remains the biggest task and question as both sides scuffle here in search for a victory and also better their standing as far as the GFF men's division one is concerned. Greater Tomorrow up against Bombarda coming to you live from the Brickhammer Box Bar Mini Stadium and the game is live on LSTV one on both Facebook and YouTube. You can like, share and also send us comments. At the commentary that's while I'm in Fatih, Kemo Kanye, Iman Sarachama and Osman Kamara behind the camera. There we go. It's going to be a throw-in. Osman Abdul Dabo, Oseno Abdul Dabo is still receiving medical attention of the pitch. We are in so if he will be able to make a comeback. He seems to be okay, but still limping off the pitch. It's a throw-in for Bombarda. Long and high one. Time to get the ball forward. Player goes to ground. The number 27 for Bombarda goes to ground. And he's been rewarded by the central referee Dudu Toure is the player currently on the ground for Bombarda and Toure Dudu Hussein Abdul Dabo is back on the pitch but seems to be lump, limping still this is Sawane now who controls the ball gets the ball to the left wing back for Bombarda trying to connect who it is a judge who gets the ball quickly to Saini Sambo great turn by Duda Saini to the advancing Dudu now Dudu Toure Dudu now will tie it for other options Saini Sambo will, who tries to get the ball back to Sawane Sawane to his defensive partner on the right side of Bombarda's attack this is Kamal now Bombarda enjoying possession in their own half dressed in their blue colors blue shirt blue shorts and red socks back to their goalkeeper Yusufa Sanyang Yusufa to the central defender Balamusa Sawane this time it is Bombarda who will try to use Swaibu Kebe great control Swaibu Kebe now gets the ball forward to the advancing Dudu timely interception there by the central defender and number five CD Kinte for greater tomorrow who is currently on the on the ground and CD collided with Dudu and both players are currently on the ground. Currently on the ground, CD Kinte is being attended to by his fellow central defender Omar Jaju for Greater Tomorrow. And Dudu will also be assisted by the team of medics from Bombarda. And both players are already on the ground. Both players are currently down, CD back on his feet, and Dudu 
still on the ground. We have played 16 minutes into this contest and it is still a barring scoreline between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium in the GFF Men's Division 1. It is the Brikama Derby and 16 minutes on the clock. It is still nil apiece between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda. So as I said earlier, it's a class between Coach Sheriff Mankajang and Coach Mustafa Sedi. Coach Sheriff Mankajang is the head coach for Greater Tomorrow, whilst Mustafa Sedi is the one who is the head coach for Bombarda. And both sides will be eyeing for a victory as Greater Tomorrow will definitely want to have a victory to better their standing from sixth position to a better standing, whilst Bombarda will also want to snatch a victory to better their standing from ninth position to a better standing as far as the GFF men's division one is concerned. Hussein Abdul Dabo is back on the ground again. He seems to be struggling after that collision between him and Bully Drame. And he seems to be struggling again. We are in so whether he will be able to continue in this game. He is still limping. I think if he isn't able to make it, Bombarda will be forced to an early substitution. And it seems he wouldn't be able to make it. He wouldn't be able to make it. Dabo is currently limping as he's been supported by the medics of the pitch. And that was Bully Drame and that collision occurred between him and Bully. And Usainu Abdul Dabo is a pivotal player and definitely a great player for the Bombarda side. And losing him at this very first minutes in this contest probably might, might, be, might be a problem for Bombarda. But anyway, we believe they also have some other options to replace Usainu Abdul Dabo. Kemo seeing Usainu Abdul Dabo, who is indeed a pivotal figure as far as this Bombarda side is concerned. Losing him at this crucial time in the very first minutes will definitely be a blow for this Bombarda side. Yes, uh, very well, uh, very important player for them, energetic, and then he knows his position well he understands the way he needs to uh, play to uh, make sure he protect the defense line for the bombarder side but uh, losing him at this uh, particular moment in the uh, in the first 20 minutes to to an injury uh, might not only have an impact in this particular game but in the subsequent games that uh, bombarder will be taking part in so he's a very very important player for them i'm so i mean uh, they will miss him in this particular game and also uh, if uh, the injury has to be a long uh, one then it has to then of course uh, their game it has to impact on so many of their games that they will be playing into but i mean coming in is also uh tamba he is also a very very important player for them and also in fact he is the first captain for the team his energy also he is also a box to box uh, midfielder but i mean for usenu abdul dado i mean he's a double rather he's a very very important player for them i'm so uh, the team bombarder wouldn't want to uh, lose him but uh through injury uh, they could not do anything about that so he would miss in this particular game if it has to be a long term injury I believe they will they will continue to miss him in their subsequent games that they will be taking part in power boy. Thank you. A very, very important player. Thank you them. very much, Kemo Kanyan. Back to the live ball to ball commentary from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Omar Chajo gets the ball to the holding midfielder at number three for Greater Tomorrow. Greater Tomorrow now, who tries to get the ball forward. And the ball rolls back to the goalkeeper, Yusuf Asanya. And Yusufa will definitely try to waste some time and allow the substitution to be effected because already they are a man down. Usainu Abdul Dabo is off and he is yet to be replaced. This time into the gloves of Yusufa Sanyang. Sanyang, Yusufa, and Mohamed Tamba. And it's going to be a substitution. Quickly taking Mohamed Tamba replaces Usainu Abdul Dabo for greater for Bombarda. This is CD Kinte. Left footed drive. Trying to connect the left, left sided wing back on the far side. Can he keep the ball in play? The flag is being raised against the player. And the left wing back for greater tomorrow is the number two Ibrahima Bajo. And Bajo Ibrahima could not hold on to the ball as the ball rolls out of play for a throw in. On the far side, Ibrahima. Sanyang will take that for Bombarda, takes that quickly. This time it is Dubdu Toure who goes to ground and the central referee. Modlamin Job awards an infringement to Bombarda. 
inches off the dividing line. And Dudu Toure is still on the ground, back on his feet. And it's going to be a delivery for the boys in blue, Bombarda, who plays from our right to left from our commentary desk. Dressed in blue shirts, blue shorts and red socks. Whilst Greater Tomorrow plays from our left to right from our commentary desk. Dressed in white shirts, black shorts and white socks. This time it's Bombarda now. Ball being cleared out by Greater Tomorrow. Not a very good one. Picked up there by Mon Lamin Jata, who tries to dribble past his marker. Succeeds, still going Jata. He's been dispossessed. Greater Tomorrow regain possession. This time it is Bombarda, Ibrahim Asanyang, who gets the ball for Bombarda on the right side now. This is Dudu Toure. Toure Dudu floats the ball into the 18, eludes every other player. Omar, Omar will chase for Greater Tomorrow. And the ball rolls out of play for a throw in for Greater Tomorrow. And they're going to take that. Quickly taken back to the goal, the central defender Omar Jaju. Omar plays the ball quickly to the number three and holding midfielder who goes to ground. Infringement. City for Demba. Goes to ground and he's been rewarded by the central referee Maud Lamin Job. In case you're just joining us, this live broadcast is coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium in the GFF Men's Division 1. And this is the Brikama Derby, the game between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda. All coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium and the game is currently live on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. And at the commentary desk, Bala Amin Fati, Kemo Kanyi, Niman Chaman, Osman Kamara. This, is this time it is Greater Tomorrow. On the left side, Bully Drama squares the ball to Modu Sedi, who quickly gets the ball to Aliu Mane, Great Town Mane. Aliu tries to get the ball forward. And Aliu's pass could not connect to the advancing player and the ball rolls out of play for a goal kick to Bombarda, our Bombarda. And Bombarda will slowly get that quickly. Yusufa Sanyang in goal for Bombarda. Tries to connect Maud Lamin Jata. Can he keep the ball in play? Jata struggles and could not hold onto the ball and the ball rolls out of play for a throw in on the far side and it's going to be a throw in quickly taken by greater tomorrow cd kinte plays the ball back to the goalkeeper ibrahima balde balde will surely look for options now long and high one to the number two ibrahima bajo on the left side of greater tomorrow's attack left footer drive gets the ball around the 18 yard partially cleared by bombarda can they get the ball back ball being headed ibrahima sanyang tries to control ball cleared by sanyang and bajo Plays the ball back to the central defender, Sidi Kinte, team captain. Kinte Sidi will surely look for options. Gets the ball back to the holding midfielder and number three, Siri 4 Demba. Demba Siri 4. Siri 4 Demba. This time it is Sidi Kinte, left footed drive, long and high one, trying to connect Ali Umane, hard a touch to the advancing right wing back. Can they get something from this? into the gloves of Yusufa Sanyang and we will also try to cross over to other venues to get you the scores as they unfold. Currently, Armed Forces up against Steve Biko is on a nil-nil scoreline after 22 minutes of play. At the Box Bar Mini Stadium, Greater Tomorrow nil, Bombarda nil and Walidan up against Wa Banjul after 25 minutes of play. It is also on a nil-nil scoreline. Across all the venues, we are yet to see a goal as far as the GFF Men's Division 1 is concerned. And back to the Box Bar Mini Stadium in Brikama. It is the contest between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda. Sidi Kinte plays the ball quickly to the goalkeeper Ibrahima Balde. Balde Ibrahima in goal in his sea green shirt. Black sword and black socks. Great control by the right wing back, Greater Tomorrow, who controls the ball beautifully to the experienced Bully Drame. Bully plays the ball back to Omar Jajo, who squares the ball further to the goalkeeper Ibrahima Balde. Greater Tomorrow now in their own half. Balde Ibrahima, long and high one, trying to connect the centre forward. Paul Coley, and this time Sawane rose the highest. And a foul awarded to Bombarda. And Sawane, the central defender for Bombarda, is being rewarded by the central referee. And they quickly square the ball to Abdullahi Kamara, who is one of the central defenders for Bombarda. Mod Lamin Jata picks possession in their own half. An offensive player drops deep to get the ball. This time it is Saini Sambu. Mal control, Bombarda or Greater Tomorrow regain possession. This time it is Modu Sedi. And he's been blocked in there by Musa Bala Sawane. This is Mod Lamin now, who could not connect to Dudu now. Ball being picked up there by Sedi, number 10. 
Sadi gets the ball into Aliu Mane. Mane Aliu gets the ball forward. This time, can they get something here? Time to get himself into the 18. Still going into the back of the net. And Greater Tomorrow are one nil up here from the Brikama Box Mamini Stadium. And they got their goal through Ibrahim Anjai. And Ibrahim Anjai dribble past a group of Bombarda defenders before slotting home to give them that lead from the Box Bar Mini Stadium. Skemo, deadlock broken here from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And this time, it is the under 20 player, Ibrahim Anjai, who got the early, who got um, Greater Tomorrow, an early lead here from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Into the very first or first half, it is currently Greater Tomorrow 1, Bombarda nil. Yes, uh, very well. Pa. Brilliant take from uh, Ibrahim Anjai in the 27th minute to uh, give his side a Bombarda the lead here. Sorry, his side, Greater Tomorrow, the lead here against the uh, Bombarda side who, uh, who were able to uh, beat them in the first round by two goals to one. Now uh, that they have now taken the lead through the number 20, uh, through the under 20 player here who is Ibrahim Anjai. He's a very, very brilliant player for his side. Um, he's intelligent in the far end. is just uh, phenomenal. I believe uh, if uh, Great Tomorrow want to do, uh, want to have something in this particular game, he is one of the players that they can rely on for them to get something into this particular game. Because, I mean, their connections up front there is, uh, is just uh, Phenomenal and it's also helping this uh, greater tomorrow side a lot, especially when it comes to uh, certain of their players who were here. So, I mean, w as you can see, I, um, uh, when Abdul Dado, Abdul Dabo rather, uh, left the field for that of the Bombarda side, I mean, the um, midfield there who will be. Uh, they are always in in the position, always in the midfield six position, always to help these uh, defenders there to close some of some of these uh, passes uh, that uh, Greater Tomorrow will be trying to do to make sure they penetrate their defense line will always be a problem for the Bombarda side as we have earlier, as we have just seen here. But uh, let's see what happens because uh, they are now on the cooling break. I, I believe it is also fair for the referees to give that opportunity to uh, the players to uh, make sure they cool down their temperatures because in these days here yeah, it is uh, the temperatures are too, uh, very very hot so uh, coming into this particular uh, cooling break here will help players to regulate their health status as well so that was also giving some opportunity to the technical benches for the greater tomorrow and that of the bombarder side to uh, pass some instructions to their players so that they will be able to play they wanted them to play but uh, as for now 27 minutes on the clock for uh, 27 minutes on the clock uh, greater tomorrow have taken the lead through the under 20s a Brian Njai he is a very very uh, brilliant player pa. thank you very much Kemo Kanye and that was the cooling break and any moment from now the central referee Mood Lamin Jube will restart the game. But currently at the box bar mini stadium, it is greater tomorrow one bombarda nil. And greater tomorrow got their goal through the under 20 centre forward Ibrahim Njai, who got greater tomorrow into a lead in the 27 minutes of this game and it is never over until it is all over it's going to be a stiff battle between these two sides but Bombala if they want to have anything as far as this contest is concerned they need to come from a goal down to have something this is Ibrahim Asanya who gets the ball to Saini Sambu great control and that's a foul quickly taken by Bombala who will slowly try to get the ball forward Mohamed Tamba Tamba Mohamed to Musa Bala Sawane Sawane to Tamba now. This is great interchange of passes. Swaibu Kebe now, who tries to get the ball forward. Seni Sambu looking to have something here. Squares the ball to Ibrahim Asanyang on the far side, and the flag is being raised against Ibrahim. And it's going to be a set piece for Greater Tomorrow, and they wouldn't be in any hurry as they are currently leading here by a goal to nil. Courtesy of Ibrahim Njai. Not too many as Sancho at the, at the, in Brikama. And this is a delivery for greater tomorrow in their own half. Sidi Kinte leaves the ball for the goalkeeper Ibrahim Balde. Balde urges his central defenders to move forward as he and his team greater tomorrow leads here by a goal to nil. Ibrahim now long and high one into Bombarda's half. Musa Bala Sawane with a thumping header. Great control from Modu Sedi who goes to ground and that's a foul. 
as waived by the central referee Maud Lamin Job. Job Maud Lamin has been assisted by Omar Dabo, Dauda, Bal, Dauda Baji and Omar Salah as the fourth assistant referee. And the match commissioner is Maimuna Kante from the Box Bar Mini Stadium and the game is live on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. At the commentary next, Paula Amin Fati, Kemo Kanye, Niman Saracham, and Usman Kamara. This is going to be a clearance from Greater Tomorrow. Picked up there by Modu Sedi, who goes to ground. No foul given this time. It is Mohamed Tamba, who picks possession for Bombarda. Saini Sambu squares the ball to the advancing Ibrahim Sanyang. Sanyang Ibrahim trying to dribble past his marker, still struggles. Still with the ball, Ibrahim Sanyang. Still going Sanyang, squares the ball to the advancing Idrisa. Mal controlled. Bombarda to Swaibu Kebe, 19 on his back, trying to dribble past a group of Greater Tomorrow players. Squires the ball, great back heel from the Seni Sambu to Ibrahim Asanyang. Seni now gets the ball into the 18. A header from Greater Tomorrow, danger not averted. This time it is Dudu Toure now. Ball being headed out there by Modu Sedi. Still danger not averted. This is Mod Lamin Jata. Squires the ball to the left sided wing back for Bombarda now, who are desperately in search of an equalizer here as they trail here by a goal to nil. Mohamed Tamba to Idrissa Jajo. This time it is the number 24 and left-sided wing back who squares the ball into the 18. Ball being headed partially into the gloves of the goalkeeper Ibrahim Balde. That was a great delivery from Bombarda as they continue to search for an equalizer here from the Box Bar Mini Stadium. And this live broadcast is coming to you live on LSTV1 from the Box Bar Mini Stadium in the break hammer derby between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda. Not a very good pass from Greater Tomorrow. This time Bombarda picks possession. Seni now trying to connect Dudu and ball being cleared by the central defenders for Greater Tomorrow as they seems to be under pressure after getting that lead from the Box Bar Mini Stadium. It's going to be a corner and Bombarda will benefit from this corner. Seni Sambu 14 will take this Delivery for the boys in blue, Bombarda, who thrilled here by a goal to nil against Greater Tomorrow. Greater Tomorrow got their goal in the 26 minute and they got their goal courtesy of Ibrahim Anjai, who is indeed the under 20 centre forward and plays for the Greater Tomorrow side. Seni Sambu is preparing to deliver this as we have a key presence of the Bombarda players. Ball being floated into the 18, headed out partially by Greater Tomorrow, picked up there by Modu Sedi, trying to connect Paul Kohli. And Paul seems to be struggling. Modu Sedi regained possession for Greater Tomorrow. Left footed drive block in there by the number three and central defender Abdullahi Kamara. On the far side of the field for Bombarda. And it's going to be a throw in. And the throw is going to be taken by Ibrahim Bajo, who is operating as the left wing back for Greater Tomorrow. Modu Sedi picks possession. Back to Bajo. Bajo connects Paul. And Paul is being penalized. And he seems to be. In an offside position as waived by the assistant referee on the far side. And it's going to be an offside. Quickly taken by Bombarda. Idrissa, Idrissa launches in a long one. Ball being headed by CD Kinte. Player for Greater Tomorrow goes to ground. Advantage given to Greater Tomorrow. Quickly taken this time Bully Drame. And Seni Sambu is being penalized by the central referee. Mod Lamin Job from the Box Bar Mini Stadium. And there is a player for Greater Tomorrow on the ground and he seems to be the left-sided wing back Ibrahim Abajo who is currently on the ground and currently the central referee Maud Lamin Jube is on the player and Jube Maud Lamin assisted the player and he is back on his feet and it's going to be quickly taken by Greater Tomorrow in their own half Omar to CD Kinte to Bajo, who gets the ball back to the goalkeeper Ibrahim Balde. Balde Ibrahim squares the ball to the right sided central defender Omar Jajo, who tries to get Ibrahim Njai up front. And that's an infringement quickly taken by Bombarda on the left side of the attack. They will surely try to get the ball forward. This time it is Seni Sambu. He's been dispossessed. This time Modu Seidi tries to get the ball forward. Number 10 on his back. This is Musa Bala Sawane. And Sawane Musabala will the central referee is currently having a word with the central referee or the central defender for Bombarda. And it's going to be a delivery for the boys in white and blue. Or white and black rather. White and black greater tomorrow who are currently leading here by a goal to nil. 
against Bombada from the Box Bar Mini Stadium in Brikama. There we go. Aliu Mane gets that quickly. To the right sided wing back. Aliu gets the ball into the 18. An easy time for the goalkeeper Yusuf Asanyan who gathered that ball with ease. Ibrahim Asanyan controls that ball beautifully for Bombada. Gets the ball forward. Trying to connect Mon Lamin Jata this time. Sidi Kinte on a defensive mission. Gets the ball quickly to Bajo. Sidi regained possession. Team captain and number five. Gets the ball to Bajo on the left side of Greater Tomorrow's attack. The ball is still in play. And Abdullahi Kamara controlled that ball. Plays the ball to Sanyang Yusufa in goal for Bombada. Abdullahi Kamara. Mohamed Tamba. Bombada. And it's going to be Bombada now who will slowly try to get the ball forward. Ball been chested down by the left sided wing back for Bombada. Swaibu Kebe now. Kebe Swaibu moves the ball forward, trying to have his way out. Gets the ball to Mohamed Tamba. Tamba squares the ball forward to Ibrahim Asanyang on the right side of Bombada's attack. To Swaibu Kebe who controls that ball beautifully. Ibrahim Asanyang plays the ball back to Mohamed Tamba. Bombada enjoying possession in their opposition half. This is Musa Bala Sawanes. Bala Sawane. Trying to connect Mon Lamin Chata. But not a very good pass. Bajo gets the ball forward. Ibrahim Njai. Oh, this is Paul Coley. And Greater Tomorrow dispossessed. Bombada regain possession in their own half. Ibrahim Sanyang. In their own half, gets the ball quickly to Mod Lamin Jata, who drops deep to get the ball forward for Bombada. They square the ball on the left side now. Bombada will surely try to get the ball forward. Seni Sambu Duta, 14 on his back, will surely look for options. Gets the ball to Swaibu Kebe on the left side of Bombada's attack, who tries to dribble past his marker. He tries to use his pace. Soxi drills the ball low, cleared by Omar Jaju. A lively, lively afternoon here from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium and this game is between Greater Tomorrow and Bombada. And currently Greater Tomorrow leads by a goal to nil and they got their goal in this 26th minute courtesy of Ibrahima Njai. And it's a corner for Bombada. And Bombada will surely benefit from this corner and it's going to be taken by Seni Sambu Duta. Seni Sambu, 14 on his back. Seni Sambu will deliver this effort for Bombada. The boy is in blue. Seni Sambu floats the ball into the 18 ahead from this time. Idrisa Jaju's effort sailed way over the bar. And a goal kick to the boys in white and blue, Greater Tomorrow, who are currently leading here by a goal to nil. And we have played 40 minutes into this contest. Unofficial, as the central referee and his team are the ones with the official timing. But unofficial on our comment readers, we have played 40 unofficial minutes here from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And Greater Tomorrow leads Bombarda by a goal to nil. And Greater Tomorrow got their goal in the 26th minute, courtesy of Ibrahim Njai Sancho. This is time. This time it is greater tomorrow now in their own half. Omar Jajo launches in trying to connect Ibrahim and Jai. And a throw in to Bombada. And this throw in will be taken quickly by Salif Usane, who connects Swaibu Kebe. This time, Modu Sedi, who picks possession, trying to dribble pass. Idrisa Jajo goes to ground. And he's been rewarded by the central referee, Mood Lamin Job. And Greater Tomorrow will benefit from a set piece in their own half. Omar Jaju gets that quickly to his defensive partner, Sidi Kinte and team captain. Kinte Sidi launches in a long and high one, trying to connect Ibrahim and Jaif up front. No troubles for Yusufa Sanyang in goal for Bombada. Bombada now will slowly get the ball forward. Seni Samu gets the ball to Abdullahi Kamara. Kamara to Idrisa Jaju. He's playing as the holding midfielder for Bombada in their own half. In case you're just joining us, this live broadcast and commentary is coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And it is the GFF Men's Division 1. Brikama Derby between Greater Tomorrow and Bombada. All coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. 
and this game is live on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. You can like, share, and also send us comments at the commentary desk. Parliament for the Kemo Kanye. You must have a chairman of Osman camera behind the camera. There we go. This is Musa Balasawane now, who will surely try to get the ball forward. He's been dispossessed by Bully Drame, who tries to dribble past his marker. Still, Drame Bully goes to ground. And he's been rewarded by the central referee, Mod Lamin Job. And Bully is still on the ground. And Mohamed Tamba has been penalized. And Tamba seems to be protesting. But anyway, the central referee has the final say into the final minutes of this contest from the Brickhammer Box Bar Mini Stadium as we have already played 41 minutes into this contest. And it is still a 1 0 advantage to the boys in white and black, Greater Tomorrow, who got their goal in the 26 minute, courtesy of Ibrahim Njai Sancho. This is Bully Drame. Bully is one of the most experienced players, if not the most experienced player for this greater tomorrow side. Bully Drame had spells with Brickhammer United, spells with Real de Banjul before coming back to greater tomorrow. And he is one of the most experienced, if not the most experienced player as far as this greater tomorrow side is concerned. We can confirm that he's the most experienced player as far as this greater tomorrow. Starting 11 is concerned. This is Omar Jaju now, who tries to get the ball forward. Not a very good one. Picked up there by Mohamed Tamba. Swai Bukebe now. The ball is off the pitch. As waved by the assistant referee on the far side. And it's going to be a throw in for greater tomorrow. Takes that quickly to the holding midfielder, City 4 Demba. City 4. Bully Drame goes to ground again. This is a delivery. This is going to be a set piece for Bombarda this time. Mohamed Tamba takes that quickly to Swaibu Kebe. The PC and tricky Kebe Swaibu gets the ball to Tamba now. Who squares the ball to Idrissa Jaju. Jaju to his defend central defender. Abdullahi Kamara on the far side. Ibrahim Sanyang picks possession for Bombarda now. Soldiers forward. Goes to ground. Ibrahima Sanyang operates as the right wing back for the Bombarda side. And he's currently having a word, communicating something to his central defender. Sanyang Ibrahima, 28 on his back, moves the ball forward. This time it is Maud Lamin now. He's been dispossessed to regain possession. Bombarda now trying to get something here. Powered that ball off target. That was definitely very close for Bombarda to restore parity here. But Maud Lamin Jata's effort went off target. He uses or he used his weak foot. He is a left footed player. He used his right foot to get that ball. And his right footed delivery went off target. And a goal kick to Greater Tomorrow. And into the final minutes here. And we will also try to get over oh, cross over to other venues to get you the results as they unfold. As we also have Two other games as far as the GFF men's division one. And tomorrow at the Box Bar Mini Stadium is going to be Brikama United going against the league leaders and champions Real de Banjul. And surely we'll be here to get you the live ball to ball commentary in that game as well. But all focus is on Greater Tomorrow against Bombarda from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And this game is live on LSTV1. And we will surely quick or quickly cross over to other venues. And it is Currently, Armed Forces Neil, Steve Biko Neil in Banjul. Uh, in the game between Armed Forces and Steve Biko, it is currently 42 minutes on the clock. It is Armed Forces Neil, Steve Biko Neil at the Box Bar Mini Stadium, 45 minutes. It is greater tomorrow, one Bombarda Neil in Banjul, Walidan up against Wa Banjul. It is 45 minutes on the clock. It is Walidan nil and Wa Banjul nil. And into the final minutes here at the Box Bar Mini Stadium. Greater Tomorrow leads Bombarda by a goal to nil. This time it is Greater Tomorrow. Ball been tested. Greatly done in there by the Randwee back for Greater Tomorrow who gets the ball to Modo Sedi to Ali Umane. Great control. Not a very good pass from Mane. This time it is Mod Lamin Jata who surges forward trying to move the ball. Still pacey and tricky Jata Mod Lamin who squares the ball into the 18. Back heel from CD Kinte. This time, ball been cleared by Paul Colley, who drops deep on a defensive mission. Idrissa Jaju picks possession for Bombarda. Gets the ball to Abdullahi Kamara. Kamara, Abdullahi on the right side of Bombarda's attack. Kamara now will surely get the ball to Toure now, Dudu. This time it is 
Maud Lamin or Mohamed Tamba. Great interchange of passes between the players of Bombarda. But we have a massive presence of Greater Tomorrow players. All rallying behind the ball. Trying to get the ball forward. Block in there by Greater Tomorrow. Who picks the ball quickly. Trying to have their way out. This time they've been dispossessed once again. This is Idrissa now. Whose effort has been blocked again by Greater Tomorrow. Sidi Kinte. Greater Tomorrow on the left side of the attack. They would surely try to use the left side. Ali Umane picks possession. Ali Umane trying to have the ball forward. Goes to ground. Infringement. Infringement awarded to Greater Tomorrow and Ali Umane. Goes to ground. This is the number 12 for Greater Tomorrow. Felix Mendy. Sidi Kinte. On the left side of Greater Tomorrow's attack, who are currently enjoying a 1-0 advantage here against Bombarda at the Brickhammer Box Bar Mini Stadium. That's a handball. As waved by the central referee. And Greater Tomorrow is being coached by Sheriff Mankajang, whilst Bombarda is under the watchful eyes of Mustafa Sedi. And currently, Greater Tomorrow are on sixth position before coming to this game. And if they are able to get a victory here will surely get them to a better position as far as the GFF men's division one is concerned and also Bombard are coming into this contest are on nine position with 24 points and greater tomorrow on six position with 28 points this time it is greater tomorrow in their own half Ali Umani to Modu Sedi Sedi Modu now gets the ball to Bully Drame Bully to Ali Ali Umani Bully Drame again Bully trying to get the ball forward not a very good one from Bully into the gloves of the goalkeeper Yusuf Sanya into the final minutes from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. In case you're just joining us, this live commentary is coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And the game is live, and it is live from the Box Bar Mini Stadium. And it is also live on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. At the commentary desk, Parliament Fati Kemo Kanyi, Nimansara Chaman, Osman Kamara. And there we go, that's the final whistle, or the halftime whistle, not the final whistle. The halftime whistle here from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium, and it is halftime. Greater Tomorrow leads Bombarda by a goal to nil, and they got their goal in the 26th minute, courtesy of Ibrahim Njai Sancho. The under 20 centre forward got the only goal as far as this game is concerned and there we go we're going to also have a 15 minutes break and we will be back for the continuation of the live ball to ball commentary from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium in the GFF Men's Division 1 game between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda until then we are saying bye bye till we come your way in the next 15 minutes for the continuation of the live commentary it has been Parliament for the Kemo Kanye, Nimasara Cham and Osman Kamara
Welcome back to the Brikama Box Barmini Stadium for the continuation of the live ball to ball commentary. After that 15 minutes of break, and we are back and we are we are live on LSTV1. And this is Bombada now in their own half. Lunch is in a long and high one. Not a great one as the ball went out of play for a throw in. Greater tomorrow, picks possession in their own half. This is Bajo who gets the ball to the holding midfielder. Quickly to Modu Sedi, trying to connect Ibrahim and Jai. But no chance for Jai. And a throw in. A throw in. A throw in to Bombada. Ibrahim Asanyan gets that quickly to the advancing centre forward, Dudu Toure. Dudu now. Seems to be a physical centre forward. This time it is Ibrahim now who tries to get the ball forward. And he's been blocked. Ibrahim Sanyang will take that. Ibrahim, a long one into Greater Tomorrow's half. Sidi Kinte with a thumping header. And a throw in. Quickly taken, Ibrahim. This time, Dudu. To Mood Lamin Jata. Back to Ibrahim Sanyang now. Bombada trying to have the ball forward. Let's see what they will surely do. Flag stayed down. Ball being floated into the 18, into the gloves of Ibrahim Balde. Who gathered that ball with ease. And Ibrahim Balde wouldn't be in any hurry. As he and his team, Greater Tomorrow, leads here by a goal to nil against Bombada. Omar Jaju plays the ball back to the, center, the goalkeeper. Balde Ibrahim. Balde chips the ball forward to Omar Jaju, who plays the ball back again. This is Sidi Kinte. Left footed central defender to Bajo, great control, greater tomorrow in their own half to Aliu Mane. Aliu, who tries to turn, succeeds, still going. Mane gets the ball to Ibrahim and Jai, who will now use his pace now. Jai trying to dribble past his marker. Let's see what he will surely do. Squires the ball to Bully Drame. And the ball is too strong for Drame to control. And it's going to be. A throw in for Bombada in their own half. Quickly taken. Bombada now will slowly try to get the ball forward. Swaibu Kebe gets the ball to Mohamed Tamba. This time it is the left sided wing back who will slowly use his pace now. Goes to ground. No foul given, and it's going to be a throw in for Bombada. Bombada in their oppositions have Dudu Toure tries to control, not a great one. Omar Jaju with a clearance. Ali Umane heads the ball, trying to connect. Modu Saidi. Musa Balasawane goes to ground. Infringement awarded to him by the central referee. Inches of the dividing line. And Paul Coley has been penalized by the central referee. And this game is been officiated by Mod Lamin Job. Omar Dabo. Dauda Baji and Omar Salah as the fourth assistant referee. And this is the live commentary coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bahamini Stadium in the GFF Men's Division 1 game between Greater Tomorrow and Bombada. And also it's the Brikama Derby between these two sides. And Greater Tomorrow, before coming into this game, are on sixth position with 28 points, whilst Bombada on ninth with 24 points. And Greater Tomorrow have been coached by Sheriff Mankajang, whilst Mustafa Sedi is the one in charge of the Bombarda side. This time it is Ali Umani who picks possession for Greater Tomorrow, trying to connect Ibrahim and Jai. Ibrahim scored the only goal in this contest. Let's see what they will surely do. This time it is Bombarda now. Bombarda will surely get the ball forward. Mohamed Tamba. A lively, lively contest between Greater Tomorrow and Bombada. Mohamed Tamba moves the ball forward. This time to Swaibu Kebe, who gets the ball, trying to connect Dudu Toure. Dudu to Swaibu Kebe. Swaibu goes to ground, no foul given. Ball being picked up there by Ibrahim Anjai. This time to Bajo, who squares the ball forward to Ibrahim Anjai. Can he keep the ball in play? Tricky and pacing Jai Ibrahim. Number seven. Ibrahim Njai plays the ball back to Bajo, who is operating as the left wing back, who gets the ball further. In trying to connect Paul Colley. Too strong for Colley. Bombarda regained possession. Seni Sambu. Dispossessed. Bombarda regained possession. Swaibu Kebe drops deep, collects the ball. Swaibu Kebe. Squires the ball to Ibrahim Asanyang. 
Sanyang Ibrahim back to Swaibu Kebe who goes to ground and he is been rewarded this time by the central referee Modlamin Job and Kebe Swaibu is back on his feet and Modlamin or Mohamed Tamba will take that gets that quickly to Idrissa Jaju Idrissa squares the ball forward to Seni Sambu Seni the most experienced player for this Bombarda side we can even say he's the most experienced player on the pitch Ball being floated into the 18. Can they get something here? Partially cleared by Sidi Kinte. Danger not averted. Ibrahim Asanya gets the ball to Dudu Toure. For Bombada now. Who will solely use his pace now? Toure Dudu. Trying to dribble pass. His marker back to Ibrahim Asanya now. Asanya to Dudu. Mal control. Modu Sedi. Picks possession for greater tomorrow. Who tries to dribble pass. A group of Bombada players. He succeeds. This is Ibrahim Njai now. Jai Ibrahima on an offensive mission. Modu Seidi picks possession. Great back hill. Block to torch there by Mod Lamin Jata for Bombarda. And Idrissa is currently on the ground and we have played six minutes into the second half. And it seems both sides picked up from where they left it. Both Bombarda and Greater Tomorrow picked it from where they left it. Modu Sedi now, trying to cause some problems now. Ball been floated into the 18, headed out there by Musa Balasawane. Picked there by the number three and holding midfielder. Siri 4, Demba for Greater Tomorrow. Can they get something, Sancho? Ibrahim Anjai. His effort sailed over the bar. And you could see that reaction from this from the head coach for greater tomorrow sheriff mankajang was calling in for ibrahim anjai to control the ball and move the ball further before having a shot swaibu kebe gets the ball for bombarda in their own half this time it is musa balasawane his effort has been blocked in there by bully drame bully drame for greater tomorrow and bombarda gets that quickly swaibu kebe on a defensive mission drops deep get that throw in to Abdullah Kamara on the right side of Bombarda's attack, who will solely try to build an attack from their own half to the holding midfielder and team captain Idrissa Jaju, who urges his players to move forward for upwards. Swaibu Musa Bala Sawane moves the ball forward to Modlamin Jata, who strides forward trying to connect Dudu, Dudu Ture. This time it is Sawane again, whose pass wasn't a convincing one and easy time for greater tomorrow omar jaju picks possession for greater tomorrow in their own half jaju omar hard spells with brikama united before moving to greater tomorrow he also hard spells with Bereuling. this time it is swaibu kebe swaibu trying to use his pace now let's see what he will surely do moves the ball forward deals the ball low so close and the effort from Mod Lamin Jata once again they sailed over the bar and he should have done better he should have done better but anyway that's football for you this time it is Bajo now who gets the ball to Ibrahim Anjai Ibrahim plays the ball or drops the ball back to CD Kinte Ibrahim now dribble past Ibrahim Asanya and Bombarda or Greater Tomorrow will start the play from their own half squares the ball further to omar jaju who beeps in a right footed delivery trying to connect bully drame but his effort is not a great one as the ball went out of play for a throw in quickly taken by bombarda who are desperately in search of an equalizer here as they thrill one nil against greater tomorrow from the brikama box bar mini stadium musa balasawane trying to connect the left-sided wing back and number 24 but the effort was not a great one salifu sane and a throw in to Greater Tomorrow. And this is all coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium in the GFF Men's Division 1 between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda. And the game is currently live on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. And at the commentary desk, Palam Infati, Kimu Kanye, Nimansara Chama, and Osman Kamara behind the camera. And it's going to be a double substitution for Greater Tomorrow. Greater Tomorrow will be having a double substitution as they have Paul Coley off and Bully Drame. Paul Coley and Bully Drame 
are being substituted. And they're going to be replaced by Baba Nimbujang. And Babukar Sala. Bully Drame and Paul Kole off. Babukar Sala and Baba Nimbujang in. And that is greater tomorrow. CD Kinte, can he keep the ball in play? Yes, he does. Kinte, CD team captain and central defender. Ibrahim Manjai drops the ball back to the goalkeeper, Ibrahim Abalde, for greater tomorrow. Greater tomorrow, currently playing from our left to right. Omar Jaju with a clearance, not a great one this time. It is Bombarda now, who picks possession, trying to get the ball forward. Ball being chested down by CD Kinte. Who gets the ball to Bajo on a defensive mission? Ibrahima trying to get the ball off Greater Tomorrow. Ibrahim Jai gets the ball to Barbanding Bojan. Great turn from Barbanding. This time it is Jaju now. Ball being cleared by Bombada. Mohamed Tamba gets the ball forward for Bombada. This time it is the center forward. Dudu Toure, who will surely look for options straight into the gloves of Ibrahima Balde, who guarded that ball with ease. This is Babanding now. Babanding Bojang. Sweet the play to Bajo on the left side of Greater Tomorrow's attack. This time it is Abdullahi now. Ball being picked up there by Abdullahi Mane. That's a foul. This is a yellow card being dashed out to Abdullahi Kamara, the central defender for Bombarda. And it's going to be a set piece for Greater Tomorrow at a promising position. And Ali Umani is currently on the ball. Ali Umani, Babanding Bujang. But it seems Ali Umani is the likely candidate to effect this set piece. It's going to be a double substitution for the boys in blue as well, Bombarda. It's going to be a double substitution. Dudu Toure and Idrissa Jaju are off for Greater Tumu, are off for Bombarda. And they are. And they have been replaced by Ismaila Baji. And Ibrahima Ba. Ibrahima is another central defender. Let's wait and see. Ali Umane, number 14, prepares to deliver this effort for greater tomorrow. Mane Ali, right footed delivery into the gloves of Yusufa Sanyang. No troubles for the Bombada goalkeeper who gets the ball forward, trying to connect Swaibu Kebe. Swaibu Toshuls with Omar Jaju. And Swaibu is being penalized by the central referee. And the central referee rewards Omar Jaju with an infringement. And Greater Tomorrow takes that quickly. This is Sidi Kinte. Left footed drive. Trying to connect Ibrahim and Jai up front. Jai, great control. The under 20 center forward. Jai trying to dribble past his marker. Gets the ball to Ali Umani. Not a very good one. This time Tamba gets the ball forward for Bombarda. Goes to ground. And that's an infringement. Another yellow card being dashed out. To the number three and holding midfielder for Greater Tomorrow, who is Sarif Demba, or Siri for Demba. And the central ref or the head coach for Greater Tomorrow, Sarif Mankajang, seems not to be happy with the way Ali Umani is playing. And he keeps on calling in Ali Umani to change the way he is currently playing. But anyway, Ali Umani, and it's going to be a delivery for Bombada. And we have Ibrahim Asanyang, Seni, Sambu, and Abdullahi Kamara all on the ball for Bombarda. Can they get something here? As already, Greater Tomorrow have already assembled a four man wall. Right for the delivery, Seni Sambu's effort sailed over the bar and a goal kick to Greater Tomorrow. 
It's going to be a goal kick for the boys in white and black, Greater Tomorrow, who are currently leading here by a goal to nil against Bombarda. All coming to you live from the Bikama Box Bar Mini Stadium, and the game is live on LSTV at the commentary desk. Parliament Fati Kemo Kanye, Yimansata Cham, and Osman Kamara behind the camera. It's, great. it's a goal kick to be taken by the goalkeeper, Ibrahima Balde. Balde Ibrahima prepares to take this long and high one. Ahead of Bombarda, can they keep the ball? Still, ball being picked up there by Greater Tomorrow. Great tone by the holding midfielder to see the Kinte who gets the ball forward. Trying to connect Ibrahima Sanyang with a great interception. Sanyang Ibrahima to Modlami, not a great one. Picked up there again by Greater Tomorrow, who will surely need Bajo to get the ball forward. Picked up there by Babanding Bojang. Babanding goes to ground, no foul given by the central referee. This time Ismaila Baji picks possession for Bombarda now, who will surely use his pace. Baji squares the ball to the advancing Ibrahima Sanyang. This time it is Bombarda. Can they get something here? Great control, Ibrahima gets the ball into the 18. A header from Greater Tomorrow. And Omar Jaju is on the ground. And the central referee awards an infringement to Greater Tomorrow. And their central defender, Omar Jaju, is currently on the ground. Back on his feet. And we have already played 61 minutes into this contest. And the score remains Greater tomorrow, one Bombarda nil. Kemo, it seems both sides have picked it from where they left it since the commencement of the second half. But we believe Bombarda are desperately in search of an equalizer because they know they can't afford to drop further points. But also, Greater tomorrow are trying to defend this one nil advantage. If they can't get another, they will definitely want to go home with a one nil advantage. Yes, uh, very well. Uh, Greater Tomorrow coming into this particular game have already lost two of the, uh, the last consecutive games that they have played in. So coming into this one, what is at stake for them? So they must win this particular game to to refocus them, uh, their minds on to, uh, wh what they want into this particular league. So com for that of the Bombarda side, they have been winning a uh, back-to-back uh, game. They won rather back-to-back -back games before coming into this other one. So. But uh, they were the team that were that uh, beat uh, this Greater Tomorrow side in the first leg by a lone goal, by two goals to one. Now that uh, uh, Greater Tomorrow is leading uh, against the Bombarda side by a lone goal to nil. So uh, Greater Tomorrow, as you have mentioned, will want to make sure they stick into this particular one nil lead here. If they cannot uh, uh, add and an, if they cannot add their advantage here, but while that of the Bombarda side are also in search of the goal since uh, the onset of the second half here, but uh, nothing has been possible for them. So as for now, they have been looking every possible door that can uh, bring them goals, but uh, nothing is uh, possible for them as of now. But I believe uh, they will keep on uh, moving the balls and then try to create uh, goal scoring opportunities for them. So as, uh, as you can see, um, Zakaria is warming up and also Usman. Uh, uh, Sano is also Usman Kabiro Sano is also warming up. Uh, so Usman Kabiro Sano was one of the players who scored against the uh, Greater Tomorrow side in the first leg. So he is preparing to uh, come up and also one of the experienced uh, foot as well. Uh, Zakaria Dabo will also soon make way, uh, soon be coming in for the Bombarda side. So those two substitutions, let's see uh, what uh, what changes uh, it is uh, going to bring into this particular uh, encounter that co that uh, Bombarda is currently trailing here by a lone goal to nil to decide uh, that they beat by two goals to one in the first uh, round of GFF main division one. Thank you very much Kemo and back to the live ball to ball commentary. This is Bombarda now. Bombarda Swaibu Kebe trying to dribble past Bubakar Salah. Salah seems to be resolute at the back. CD Omar Jaju get the ball forward for Greater Tomorrow and his effort went out of play for a throw in to Bombarda in their own half. The goalkeeper Yusuf Asanyang picks possession for Bombarda. This time it is Musa Balasawane who squares the ball to Ibrahim Abba. Ba Ibrahima to Abdullahi Kamara. Bombarda now in their own half. They will surely try to get the ball forward. Ibrahima to Abdullahi Kamara. Bombarda enjoying possession in their own half. Ibrahima Ba gets the ball forward. Trying to connect the left sided wing back. The ball is too strong for the player to hold on. And it's going to be a throw in for Greater Tomorrow. And they wouldn't be in any hurry as their right wing back and number 12 will surely take that throw in. Felix Mendy. Mendy Felix with a long one. 
trying to get the ball forward. Blocked in there by Great Bombada. This time, Babukar Sala was just there in time on his effort. Struck the player for Bombada. And that's going to be a throw in for Greater Tomorrow. Felix now with another long one. Tomorrow Sedi, who controls that ball beautifully. He gets the ball to the advancing Salah Babukar. Back to the central defender, Omar Jaju. Omar gets the ball forward. Bar banding, hard a slight touch. Ball being cleared by Ibrahim Abar. Bombarda will try to get themselves forward. This time it is Sidi Kinte, whose pass is into a convincing one. And Sidi, on a defensive mission, was just there in time to block Maud Lamin Jata. Sidi Kinte gets the ball to Bajo. Greater tomorrow. They've been dispossessed. Ibrahima now. This time it is Mohamed Tamba. Tamba has been dispossessed by Greater tomorrow. Bajo. Left footed drive. Sweet the play. To the left side or right side of the attack. Salah Babukar strides forward for Greater tomorrow. Squares the ball and Ibrahim Jai. Ibrahim Jai was scored on offside by the assistant referee on the far side of the field. And it's going to be a set piece for Bombada who thrills here by a goal to nil against Greater Tomorrow. All coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And the game is live on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. At the commentary, that's Parliament Fatih, Kemo Kanyi and Nyiman Satacham and Osman Kamara. That's going to be a delivery for Bombarda, who plays from our left to right, whilst Greater Tomorrow kicks from our left to right. And coming into this game, Greater Tomorrow were on 6th with 28 points, whilst Bombarda on 9th with 24. And a victory will surely propel the team, all the teams, from, to a better position as far as the GFF Men's Division 1 is concerned. Ball been cleared, partially, danger not averted. Bombarda picks possession. Mohamed Tamba, who tries to get the ball forward. He's been blocked in there by Salah Babukar. This time, Greater Tomorrow in their own half. Aliou Mane. Great control, Mane Aliou. Still going, Aliou Mane. Goes to ground. That's a throw in. No foul given by the central referee and the assistant. As the flag of the assistant referee stayed down and the central referee waved in for a play on. And a throw in to Bombada. Long one. Trying to get the ball forward. Swaibu Kebe strides. Can he keep the ball in play this time? Omar Jaju on a defensive mission. Clears his line and a corner to Bombada. Quickly taken. Swaibu Kebe to Seni Sambu who floats the ball into the 18. CD Kinte with a thumping header. Another clearance. Partially cleared. Danger not averted. Player goes to ground. Aliou Mane once again. And the central referee will now signal for a substitution. Usman Kabiru Sanu. Usman Kabiru Sano and Zakaria Dabo are the two players to be introduced and Seni Sambu and Swaibu Kebe are off for Bombada. Usman Kabiru Sano in the last meeting between Bombada and Greater Tomorrow was on the score seat. He scored the other goal for Bombada and Lamin Tamba got the order for Bombada. And the only goal scored for Greater Tomorrow in their 2-1 defeat to Bombarda was called by Paul Colley. This time, Usman Kabiru Sano is on the pitch already. This is Greater Tomorrow now. Ali Mane. Mane to Babu Karsala on the right side of Greater Tomorrow's attack. Babanding Bojan goes to ground. And he's been awarded with an infringement. And it's going to be a set piece. Ali Umane takes that quickly to the holding midfielder number three for Greater Tomorrow, City 4 Demba. Demba City 4, short one, trying to connect Sedi Modu. Greater Tomorrow on the right side of the attack. Can they get something here? Gets the ball to Babu Karsala, not a great one. And a throw in to Bombada on the right side of, or left side of the attack. This is Bombada now. Gets the ball to Yusuf Asanya. In his red colours, long and high one, trying to connect Sano Usman Kabiru. Straight into the gloves of the goalkeeper Ibrahima Balde. And Balde Ibrahima wouldn't be in any hurry. Rules the ball to the central defender Sidi Kinte. Kinte connects Ibrahim Anjai, who chested the ball down. Seems to be too strong. This is Kinte now to Njai Ibrahima. Great control Ibrahima. Ibrahim Anjai. 
The under 20 centre forward Jai Ibrahim gets the ball to the holding midfielder who squares the ball further to Ali Umani. Great control Mane to Ibrahim and Jai on the left side of Greater Tomorrow's attack. Can they get something here? Trying to connect Babanding. Babanding goes to ground. That seems to be a collision between him and Musa Bala Sawane. And it is a quick counter attack from Bombada on the left side of the attack. Back to Ibrahim Abba. Ba, a central defender, launches in a long and high one, trying to connect Osman Kabiru Sano. A stiff battle, Sano trying to control the ball. And that's a battle between Omar Jajo and um, Osman Kabiru Sano. And the ball rolls out of play for a goal kick to Greater Tomorrow. And they wouldn't be in any hurry as they lead here by a goal to nil. And they got their goal in the 26th minute, courtesy of Ibrahim Anjai to give them that lead at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And it is a class between Greater Tomorrow and Bombara. A class between Coach Serif Mankajang and Coach Mustafa Seidi. Greater Tomorrow are being coached by Serif Mankajang. And coming into this game are on 6 with 28 points. And Bombarda on 9 9th with 24 points and Bombada are being coached by Mustafa Sedi while Serif Mankajang is on the dugout for greater tomorrow and it's going to be a set piece for Bombada quickly taken to the central defender gets the ball to the new entrant Zakaria Dabo this time it is a quick count attack Ismaila Baji he's been dispossessed Babu Karsala picks possession for greater tomorrow and the Right wing back and number 12, Felix Mendy tries to clear his line and his effort went off target and it's going to be another cooling break. It's going to be another cooling break for the players and also will give the opportunity to the technical members to have a word or two with their players but currently Greater Tomorrow are having a 1-0 advantage against Bombarda all coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium and the game is live on LSTV on both Facebook and YouTube and the commentary that's Palam in Fati Kemo Kanyi Niman Cham and Usman Kamara behind the camera and it's a cooling break at the Box Bar Mini Stadium the temperature is very high here and the game also started at a very high temperature and we will also try to cross over to other venues to get you the goals and scores as they unfold but at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium it is currently greater tomorrow one Bombarda nil and we will quickly try to cross over to other venues 71 minutes in the game between Armed Forces and Steve Biko, it is currently nil to Armed Forces, nil to Steve Biko. At the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium, 74 minutes on the clock. Greater Tomorrow 1, Bombarda nil. In the game between Walidan and Wa Banjul, 76 minutes on the clock. It is Walidan nil, Wa Banjul nil. Back to the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. It is currently a cooling break here in the game between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda. And Bombada, if they want to have anything here, needs to come from a goal down. If they want to restore parity here. But currently, Greater Tomorrow are having the bra bragging rights. They got their goal in the 26 minutes, courtesy of Ibrahim Anjai, to give Greater Tomorrow that commanding 1 0 advantage. And play will resume shortly. And the central referee, Maud Lamin Job, and his team of officials will surely get us on the way here. And Maud Lamin Job, central referee, he's been assisted by Omar Dabo, Dauda Baji, and Omar Sala as the fourth assistant referee. And the match commissioner is Maimuna Kante. All coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. It is the GFF Men's Division 1 game between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda. And this one is a Brikama derby. A long one. Play resumes. A long one from Greater Tomorrow, Modu Sedi was calling in for a foul no foul given by the central referee mood lamin job and ball being taken quickly by bombarda to abdullahi kamara who tries to get the ball forward to ibrahim asanyang great control sanyang ibrahim asanyang back to abdullahi kamara and kamara abdullahi switch the play to his center defensive partner 
Musa Bala Sawane, Mohamed Tamba gets the ball back to Sawane again. Bombada in their opposition half. Ismail Abaji squares the ball to Zakaria Dabo, who has been introduced lately. Ibrahima strides forward. Can he keep the ball in play? Ball from Zakaria is too strong for Ibrahima to hold on. And it's going to be a goal kick for Greater Tomorrow and Ibrahima Balde will take this delivery for the boys in white and black, Greater Tomorrow, who are currently leading here by a goal to nil from the Brikama Box Barmini Stadium. Kamara Abdullah with a header. This time, Greater Tomorrow regained possession. CD Kinte to this left sided wing back. Abdullah Kamara with a header, not a very good one. Modu with a back heel. Great control. Abdullah Kamara dribble passes marker, gets the ball further to Ibrahim Abba, who gets the ball to Ismail Abaji into the centre circle. Great bombarder this time. Musa Bala Sawane to Usman Kabiru Sano. Bombada will try to get the ball forward. His effort struck the player for greater tomorrow. Who picks possession? Babanding Bojan goes to ground. Babanding goes to ground and he's been rewarded by the central referee and he's still on the ground. And it is a great presence at the Brikama Box Bamini Stadium in the Brikama Derby between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda. We have a massive presence of supporters and spectators who are all here at the Brikama Box Bamini Stadium to watch this Brikama Derby between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda. And special thanks to all our followers on LSTV1 who are currently watching. We will also send our sincere appreciation to all those that are currently following us live on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. Those following us in the Gambia, other parts of Africa, in Europe and America, a very big tab on your shoulders. And it is because of you, this is why we are here to get you the live ball-to-ball -ball commentary and some analysis as far as the GFF Men's Division 1 is concerned. At the commentary desk for LSTV, Parliament Fati, Kimo Kanyi, Nimansara Chaman, Osman Kamara behind the camera. There we go and play will resume shortly. This is a quick one. From CD Kinte, long and high one, into Bombarda's half. Can they get something? Ball being headed. Trying to connect the goalkeeper. But too strong for the goalkeeper, Yusufa Sanyang. And it's going to be a corner for Greater Tomorrow. And Greater Tomorrow wouldn't be in any hurry. As they lead here by a goal to nil. They will definitely want to either protect this one nil advantage if they can't get a second. And Bombarda on the other side will definitely want to restore parity before the end of this contest. Because they wouldn't want to lose all points against Greater Tomorrow. They will prefer selling, uh, sharing the spoils than losing this game to Greater Tomorrow. But anyway, in the last meeting of these two sides, it was a 2-1 victory for Bombarda, who trails here by a goal to nil against Greater Tomorrow. Ali Umane prepares to deliver this corner for Greater Tomorrow. Launches in the ball into the 18 ahead. Partially cleared Modu with a left-footed drive and his effort sailed over the bar and a goal kick to Bombarda who are currently down here by a goal to nil against Greater Tomorrow and Greater Tomorrow get the, got their goal in the 26th minute courtesy of Ibrahim Anjai. This is Bombarda. Left wing back goes to ground. Can they get something here into the gloves of the goalkeeper Yusufa Sanyang. Ibrahim Sanyang controlled that ball to Abdullahi Kamara. Central defender Mohamed Tamba Bombada will try to get the ball forward. Harder tackle from Babanding. Play continues. Usman Kabiro Sano, number 10, plays the ball back to Mohamed Tamba. Sawane Zakaria Dabo this time around, number 9, and one of the latest entrants. This is Ibrahim Abba. Ba Ibrahim will surely look for options. Gets the ball forward to Ibrahim. Sanyang Ibrahima drops the ball to the advancing Ismaila Baji and Baji has been blocked in there by Bajo. Ismaila will take that quickly, hands the ball back to Ibrahima Sanyang. Indeed a lively, lively evening here, all coming to you live from the Brikama Box Barmini Stadium in the Brikama Derby and the class between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda. This is Modu Seidi who picks possession, squares the ball to Babukar Salah. Salah Babukar, 66 on his back. 
Gets the ball back to Omar Ejajo, who will surely try to dribble past his marker. He's been dispossessed by Usman Kabiro Sano. Sano Usman squares the ball to the advancing Tamba, who drops the ball back to the left centre forward. They've been dispossessed, Bombada. Greater Tomorrow launches in a quick count attack. Babukar Salah strides forward, looking for options now. Salah will surely... Looking for who? Could not connect to any other player. And the ball went straight into the gloves of Ibrahima or Yusufa Sanyang. Ibrahima tries to connect the centre forwards and Ibrahima's effort was blocked in there by Greater Tomorrow. Ibrahima Sanyang picks possession again. Ibrahima gets the ball to Usman Kabiro Sano. This time it is Kinte with a timely interception. CD Kinte gets the ball forward. This time it is Ibrahima Ba on a defensive mission. Great turn by the central defender Ba Ibrahima. Gets the ball to Abdullahi Kamara who squares the ball further to his defensive partner. And this time it is Bombada. Can they get the ball? It is Babukar Salah who guards the ball off the pitch and a throw in for Greater Tomorrow on the far side of the field. And it's going to be a throw in and will be taken by Felix Mendy. Mendy Felix will take this for Greater Tomorrow who are currently enjoying a 1 0 advantage against Bombada from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Throw in quickly taken. This is the new entrant Zakaria who plays Zakaria Dabo. Gets the ball to Ibrahim Sanyang. Bombada now tries to get the ball forward to Usman Kabiro Sano. This time a header from Sidi Kinte. Ali Umane picks possession, number 14, strides, strides forward. Great tackle. Ali goes to ground, no foul given. This time it is going to be a delivery for Bombada. Can they get something here? Ismail Apaji trying to connect the advancing Zakaria Dabo. Modu Sedi picks possession. Ismail Abaji on a defensive mission. Modu Sedi regained possession for Greater Tomorrow. Squires the ball on the right side for Babu Karsala, who squires the ball forward to Bajo. Great control. Can they get something? Bajo's left footed drive went off target on a goal kick to Bombada, who are desperately in search of an equalizer here. Came out a difficult game, a hard battling game between Bombada and Greater Tomorrow. I think this game will surely go down the wire. We can have a winner in this contest, but it will definitely be very much difficult to predict who will definitely go home as the winner. But anyway, the Lions share or the chance is currently on the shoulder of Greater Tomorrow who leads here by a goal to nil and Bombada needs to come from a goal down if they want to have anything here but it will definitely be difficult to say which of the sides will surely go home as the winner of this contest. Yes, uh, very well, pa, as you have rightly said, um, currently uh, Greater Tomorrow, I think they have been hurriedly taking the chances that they are currently creating here but otherwise they could have now been leading here by at least uh, two goals because I mean to the two latest chances here that have fall for them here um, is something that uh, perhaps they could have capitalized on and then do something about it but nonetheless it is a uh, football for you any I think can happen so any of these sides here can will be able to win this particular encounter because Bombarda looking at the way they are playing a great tomorrow is um uh, hitting them on counter attacking football and whenever they are attacking it's always a very very dangerous attacking football that they play on to the part of uh, Bombarda side but uh, Bombarda uh, sorry greater tomorrow sorry yeah Bombarda has been uh, resolute at the back but I think uh, in as much as you need to score goals at uh, you they also need to uh, refocus their minds that uh, we should not concede any more goals if you want to go home with at least a draw into this particular encounter because for them if they want to win this uh, if they want anything out of this particular game they must score and then uh, try if they want to win they must at least try to score two goals without uh, greater tomorrow being able to uh, add up another advantage here but I believe great tomorrow the, the team that is leading here currently uh, is crafting a lot of good uh, goal scoring opportunities for themselves but none of those uh, goal scoring opportunities are being uh, utilized by them horridly. Uh, they are taking their chances, so I think this is why they are not able to uh, do anything about that particular chances that they are creating uh, so far. But Thank you very much, Kemo Kanye. And back to the live ball to ball commentary from the Brikama Box Barmini Stadium. 
and this is the game between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda. And you can get this live stream on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. You get to Facebook and YouTube. The only thing that you need to do, just type LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. LSTV1. And you will be able to watch this game live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. A substitution. The author of Greater Tomorrow's goal, Ibrahim Anjai, is being substituted. And Ibrahim is being replaced by Amadou Sow. This is greater tomorrow now. Can they get something? Floats the ball into the 18. Eludes every other player. And Babu Karsala tries to control the ball. And the final touch. A throw in. Bomb greater tomorrow in Bombarda's half. This is Bombarda now. Who cleared their line. Ibushman Kabiro Sano tries to control. That's a handball as waved by the central referee. Greater tomorrow picks possession. They will surely try to get the ball forward. This time it is Modu Sedi now who tries to connect Babanding Bujang. And Babanding could not just hold on to the ball. And it's a goal kick to Greater to Bombarda rather. And Bombarda will take this. Quickly taken as they continue to search for an equalizer here. From the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And this game is live. And we are live on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. Ismail Abaji goes to ground. No foul. He regained possession for Bombarda. Ismaila Baji to Abdullahi Kamara. Bombarda trying to get the ball forward. Chips the ball to Ibrahim Asanyang who controls that ball beautifully. Ibrahim Asanyang. <coughs> Sanyang Ibrahim gets the ball to Zakaria Dabo. Zakaria to the central defender. Ibrahim Abad this time around for Bombarda. As we have almost all the players for greater tomorrow behind the ball. They will surely try to hit Bombarda on count attack. They've been dispossessed Bombarda. This time Greater Tomorrow picks possession. Modu Sedi into the center circle. This time trying to connect Babu Karsala. They've been dispossessed. The central defender Ibrahim Abba receives the ball for Bombarda. Trying to have his way out. This time it is Abdullahi Kamara. Abdullahi to his defensive partner Ibrahim now. Ibrahim gets the ball forward. Trying to connect Ibrahim Sanyang who surges forward into the gloves. <laughs> That was a very funny action from the goalkeeper Ibrahim Abalde of Greater Tomorrow. Anyway, that is football for you. And this is all what we need in football. Sometimes we have to get those ambience. Anyway, this ball been headed out, partially cleared by Greater Tomorrow. And ahead again, Greater Tomorrow in their own half. They've been dispossessed. Zakaria Dabo picks possession for Bombarda, who tries to dribble past a group of players. Hands the ball back to the central defender, Abdullahi Kamara, who squares the ball to the central defender. And number 23, Musa Bala Sawane. Ismail Abaji trying to connect Ibrahim Asanyang. This time, the new entrant chested the ball down. Modlamin Jata, great control. Gets the ball to Zakaria Dabo. Great interchange of passes between the players. This time, it is Bombarda. Zakaria. Zakaria into the center circle. Ibrahim now. Squires the ball further to Ibrahim now. The ball is too strong. From Ibrahim Abba to Ibrahim Asanyang. And Ibrahim Asanyang could not just hold on to the ball. And that's a throw in to Greater Tomorrow in their own half. Sidi Kinte. Long and high one, trying to connect the centre forwards. Not a great one. A header from Bombarda, picked up there by the new entrant. Greater tomorrow to the number 11. So, Amadou So. This is Omar Jaju. Greater tomorrow in their own half. To the right sided wing back now. Who controls that ball beautifully? To Babu Karsala. He's been dispossessed by Bombarda. And it's going to be a throw in for Greater tomorrow. Indeed, a lively evening here. From the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And this is the Brikama Derby. And it has all the, ingre all the ingredients to be called a derby. And a Brikama Derby to be precise. This time it is Modu Sedi who goes to ground infringement. Awarded to Greater Tomorrow. And you could see that massive presence. That massive presence from the supporters at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And this is what we all know the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And whenever it comes to football, they never disappoint. And they didn't disappoint this evening as fans pile in here to watch this Brikama derby between Greater Tomorrow and Bombarda. And this time it is Salah Babukar who floats the ball into the 18. A header from Musa Balasawane, partially cleared. Zakaria Dabo tries to control the ball, lost, regained possession. Babukar Salah trying to dribble past his marker. This is Bombarda who tries to clear their line, still in their own half. Salah with a great back heel. Babanding gets the ball forward, Modu Sedi trying to have his way out. Ismail Abaji on an offensive mission. He's been rewarded. Bombarda quickly taking Ibrahima. Five minutes been raised. And Bombarda needs to score in five minutes or else they will surely surrender every 
point to greater tomorrow and greater tomorrow also need to defend this goal in five minutes for them to be able to get the maximum point here this is bombarda now in greater tomorrow's half abdullahi kamara picks possession trying to have the ball forward kamara gets the ball into the 18 usman kabir osano trying to have a header on a defensive mission for greater tomorrow this time babu garsala picks possession on the right side of greater tomorrow's attack can they keep the ball in place sliding tackle from bombarda from the left-sided wing back this is Bombarda now, who are desperately in search of an equalizer here from the Brikama Box Bamini Stadium. And they trail here by a goal to nil, courtesy of Ibrahim Anjai's lone goal for Greater Tomorrow. This is Mohamed Tamba, squares the ball on the left side of Greater Bombarda's half. It is Musa Bala Sawane who picks possession, trying to connect his defensive partner. Great lead on Abdullahi Kamara. Soldiers forward, floats the ball around the 18 now. Is that a handball? What? that's a handball that was definitely very close oh indeed at a crucial position for bombarda i thought the action was even inside the 18 yard area but the player was definitely very very much lucky it is inches off the 18 yard area and Modu said the talisman for Greater Tomorrow is being substituted into the final minutes. And he is going to enjoy the final minutes on the, the sideline, on the technical bench. Bombarda needs a dead ball specialist to get themselves back into this game. They need to score from this. And they need a dead ball specialist to effect this for them. Kemo, this is indeed at a very crucial position. And they definitely, Bombarda needs a dead ball specialist to effect this. And they need the Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi type of a specialist to effect this uh, set piece for them, Kemo. Indeed, a brilliant one for that matter, as you have mentioned, uh, for them to execute this particular uh, free kick because this is one of the chances uh, they can capitalize on if they want to get anything into this particular encounter. But we have three of their players who are there. Uh, Sanyang is there, Sano is there. I mean, no, two of the players there, the right fullback and also Usman Kabiro Sano. It's there. going to be a delivery. Usman Kabiro Sano, this time it is Ibrahima! Whose effort sailed way over the bar. Back to you, Kim. Very well. Uh, a relief for the, the Greater Tomorrow uh, team and also that of their fans. And in fact, coming down to the technical bench here. Yeah, because I see uh, when the boy handles the ball in the far end, I had some fans were complaining that he should should have been substituted before this particular encounter. Because for that, to them, uh, he's not having that very good game. But uh, that is the coach the coach's decision. He knows why the player is still left on the pitch to be playing there. But defensively, he's a very, very good player as well. Then Babukar Salah Kim in to support him uh, defensive wise and also when attacking also Babukar is also good on the ball and also he can uh, place the ball well for his uh, player so I believe the coach the coach knows what he is still on the pitch but I mean Bombarda since the onset of this particular uh, game I will say they have been pushing knocking the ball around here and there I mean uh, you know uh, that Bomb when you are playing against Bombarda you know that you are going to play against a very uh, difficult side uh, that holds the ball and then try to knock the ball here and there they are running with the ball also it's very uh, energetic uh, they piling so many energy in regards to the games that they are playing so uh, playing against Bombarda is not a it's not, a, it's not an easy task so Gredot Moro knows that very well uh, when they have scored the goals and they are still uh, trying to uh, make sure that they play behind the ball and then uh, they get their chances uh, rightly but I mean since then they have been uh, knocking, they also have created some very good chances for themselves but none of those chances have been uh, utilized into goals so far but it has been a very very uh, brilliant game so far pa, since the start of the game thank you very much Kim Hukani. and back to the live commentary into the final minutes here the new entrant tried to dribble past his marker he's been blocked in there by the defenders for Bombarda greater tomorrow picks possession and that's a foul as waved by the central uh, the assistant referee on the far side into the final final minutes here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Will Bombarda be able to get a dramatic goal here? If they can't get that, they will surely surrender every point to Greater Tomorrow, who are currently enjoying a 1 0 advantage against them. Call coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Abdullahi Kamara plays the ball back to the goalkeeper. 
Greater tomorrow on the verge of celebrating a massive victory against their fellow Brikama Base Club Bombarda. This is Abdullahi Kamara who gets the ball forward. Ball being blocked in there by Greater Tomorrow, who have all their players behind the ball. Kamara Abdullahi who gets the ball to Ibrahim Ba. Ba Ibrahim squares the ball to Zakaria Dabo. Bombarda, there we go. And it is full time from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And it is all over here. And Greater Tomorrow bag the maximum points three points in their bag and they have won here by a goal to nil against bombarda and they got their goal through ibrahim njai in the 26 minutes to get them that victory in the brikama derby from the brikama box bar mini stadium and you are reminded that this live commentary was live on lstv1 and at the commentary that's for lstv parliament party kemo kanyi Osman Kamara and Yeman Satacham. This is where we're going to bring an end to the live ball to ball commentary. So, until on that note, we want to say a very big thanks to the entire management and staff of LSTV1 who, without, we wouldn't be able to make it to the Box Bar Mini Stadium. And also, special thanks to our followers of LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube, those that were monitoring us in the Gambia, in other parts of Africa, Europe, and America. Good news to you, and also a very big tap on your shoulders. And we also want to take this time we also want to take this time to say a very big thanks to every other individual that way that was just there to watch this game and it is all over here from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium and also we'll be here tomorrow to get you the live commentary in the game between Brikama United and Real De Bandul. until then we are saying bye-bye from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium till we come your way